What's up? What's up, everyone? And you can see this camera is recording a teeny bit of this mess. I'm going to show you the rest of this mess. We're just going to turn here. You can see everything that is in the middle of being worked on or not being worked on ever since I pulled that beast in there. Oh yeah, you gotta love that. This mysterious leak just comes in, comes down into there, collects. I'm about to just drill a hole in that floor so it'll at least drain. But I've been a little bit away, sick family, both in town and out of town. So this is gonna be a bunch of stuff. We'll call it another vlog. I think it's number five. But I'm also going to throw this thing on some time lapse and get this cleaned up before I start on something. Probably going to do a separate video. I've got a lot of Kaizen foam stuff that I want to do. I've also got, if you look all the way out there into the distance, I'm going to make two chartreuse cutting boards. I'm going to record that so you guys can see sort of what I do on that. Some black walnut. I'm going to put this bad boy to the test. I did sell the M18 regular non-fuel jigsaw. So this guy is all I've got now, besides the corded Bosch. Uh, but I have this OCD issue where I can't work in a messy shop. So I'm gonna clean up the shop. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this thing in fast forward mode and I'll be back and we'll talk about some stuff. If anybody wants this, this is an M12 insert for one of the uh, pack out cases that came with a drill. Uh, it's for the M12 fuel. It's got a drill, a charger, and an impact location. I will give you this for free. You just pay shipping. Message me. Let me know. Okay, so that was boring, but luckily it was fast and hopefully you enjoyed the music. So I've got a bunch of things that I've been working on. I'm gonna give you a little overview. We're gonna go over some specifics. Uh, there's something out here I can't find. So in a minute, I'm gonna have to text somebody and say where the hell is it? But let's go over a few things. So this, I know is the wrong color, but these look really good. when you put them in this, right? So this is another one of those Electron Smith, Benjamin Johnson designs. This is the dovetail style DeWalt versus stack, not versus stack. So I, I keep saying that wrong. It's not technically versus stack. So Irwin, DeWalt, Craftsman all use this dovetail, uh, these, these cases, right? And inside of them, they're dovetails that hold in and one of the really nice things about getting these bins in and out, or bits in and out, is that's, that's it, right? So you put it in at a slight angle, and you push down, and it's in. So I like those. And for my bigger bit cases uh, that's, like, dedicated towards bit, I use something different. Uh, and I've shown you that, but I'll show you it again. So this is one of my general screw boxes that I take, okay? But I want to have bits with it in case I don't want to bring a bit case. So what I've 
got here is this. And you can see, boom. It locks onto the top, pulls out, general stuff underneath. Okay. So <laughs> I was buying these because I thought these were really nice. Let me show you this on a different angle. For small stuff, like you could use it for the miscellaneous bits. I'm gonna actually take those out and just put them in like a, a general stockpile. But small screws, really tiny stuff that would just fall out no matter how good the dividers are. So this little setup can go inside of one of these. Right, and there it is. So that can go on the other side. Looks like I need to take the staples out and put that in both of us. So that one, I forgot. Hold on, let me show you this different one. This I actually made for something else, so that's not a good example. These, right, your general bits. It's got the little ramp there. That can fit on top as long as you don't have a screw sticking up. Okay, Square or Robinson as the Canadian counterparts use. So now I've got my bit case on top of my screw case. And I don't have to take two things with me. So those I think are pretty nice. So I went ahead and I got some more of these to play around with it. Got some more of these. I really, I just, I don't know. I like the ability to have little screws uh, completely contained and I thought these would be nice. have some more of these to go in some cases. I'm gonna do something special with that. I printed some of my own stickers for some of my stuff. <laughs> Ran out of filament, that happens. Same thing with these guys. So I used these, uh, Benjamin Johnson sewed something to where he had a bracket to attach to a wall so that you could then take the bit holders out. I thought about that and I thought, well, on these ones that are, they stop short, is that I can put, you take a bit holder, and I can open one of these up. If I put it in straight, take the nubs off first. Okay, so then I have a bit holder, right? And see how I angle it like that? So now what I'm gonna do is when I finish this workstation off, because I'll have a couple flat spots where I'll mount these like this, and then I'll have like frequently used bits out in this. Uh, I probably will do both the dovetail and the uh, Milwaukee style because I like them. But then I could basically rack this with my spare bit holders that didn't pass quality control inside of this, and I can put them in places where I always need bits, anywhere in my house, in the shop, uh, printer room, whatever. So that's sort of why I keep these broken ones this is something uh, I had a guy ask me about. Let me show it to you. So this case and this, right? So let me put these out of the way. Put my rejects out of the way. Okay. So if you were to take this, a couple of people have said they want to keep these and they like the dovetail or they like the whatever. So you look how it interferes right so if you take this and cut this tab off and then you take these bins and cut these tabs off right the two should work so let's see that real quick Scratch resistant, fog resistant. Milwaukee, you let me down, you didn't send these to me for free, so I have to be like everyone else and pay for my stuff. So, thanks Jacob Garrett's bank account. modified this. So now you can cram that sucker down inside there and you've got the dovetail style inside your standard case. So you can buy these 
or print them yourself. And then you can use So now that'll fit inside there. So you can use any of these, the 3D printed ones, jigsaw, and you can put this in. A standard, slim, low profile, whatever you want to call it, pack out. Right, so if you want to put the dovetails, dovetail style holders in here, you can take your stock bin, your rectangle, or your stock square, just trim those off, grab one of these rectangles or grab one of these squares, you can put that inside there. So these are already on the store, they're under thick pack outs, uh, thick pack out parts. This is rectangle, that one's square. But it, you're not gonna obviously take that in and out of there, so once you cram it in there, I'm sure you could just get it out with a screwdriver or something like that. But you can see, like something like that would be for really small parts if you wanted to use those. I don't intend on using these holders for these dovetails. I intend on putting them in the, my like storage bins. I use these for storing screws. And when I have some smaller quantities of screws, something like that, maybe a little smaller, uh, that are really tiny, like micro screws, things for like setting gears, things like that, I would put those little ones in here. But uh, somebody said, why won't this work? And I thought, you know what, it probably should. So tested, here it is. Dovetail style in the low profile, no problem. That's that. What else? Crash. Okay. So, a little screwdriver, you can get the stuff back out, not damage them. Like I said, I'm gonna put these in for my tall ones, but there's basically what a modified set looks like. I'll end up building one of those a little bit later. I did, go ahead, I also got a set of these. Uh, I'm gonna make one of these long rectangles into a set. I have this, All right? So let me Sparky posted once uh, about this, and I saw the Milwaukee logos, and I was immediately jealous, right? So he basically bought this set, which you can get at Home Depot, Ohio Power Tool. I got these ones at Ohio Power Tool, and they were in one of the big Shockwave cases. And everyone said, "Do you sell these?" And right now, nobody makes these, but. The tall bit holders Where do I have tall bit holders? Tall bit holders, tall bit holders. Tall bit holders. Here's the set. Okay. So those tall bit holders, if you can see, right? If you take those, they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slots, right? So you've got eight slots in these. You can. Everyone likes to trash Milwaukee hand tools. Got to get Swiss or whatever. These scissors rock. I say it every time I use them in a video, and a couple people in the video go, yeah, that's right, but man, if you say anything about Milwaukee hand tools in one of the Milwaukee groups, people will castrate you. So, let me take these out real quick. So what I saw some people do is you take these bits, we'll start small. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. I said I had eight slots, right? So shift them sideways, you can't see, right? So shift them sideways so that they nest like that, okay? Then, three. I've got four. I've got five. 
five. And I've got six. Let's see, what does my set say? One, two, three, four, five, six. And I had eight spots. So here, let's see if we can move this over. Now I know this is a square and not a rectangle, but I don't have one of these in a rectangle right now. That's not one of mine already full of stuff. But look, all of those are sitting there side by side, okay? They clear. So if this was one of the rectangle bins, like this, with a tall, you could lay those down in there. This is like 10 bucks. This is an inexpensive set. So I am going to, in one of my smaller bins, like instead of doing that, and you can see where they're flat, and yeah, they look nice, but you definitely use up a lot of bins that way. I'm gonna have these in that rectangle laying down and you can get, I can get two more in there. I could have got the bigger set. And I've seen a couple people where they've done it to where some are laying flat on the bottom and then some sit up like this on the top. You gotta to be careful because some of these are like inch and a quarter, inch and a half. But you can see, there it is. So if you're asking questions and you're saying, Jay, uh, you send me an email, you message me and say, I wanna put spade bits, I want a spade bit holder. Use the talls like this. This one's just printed black because we were messing around. Use the talls and then put your bits sideways like that. You're good to go. Okay, what else? What else, what else, what else, what else? What else have you all been asking about? Well, I'll go over a couple more things that I got. Hold on a second. Ta-da! See, there you go. Look, two spaces left. So I could have bought the bigger set. And what I would probably do is put another one on this top row, right? So you see top row, bottom row, I put this one on the bottom. And then I could tuck the other ones over here if they were smaller. So you could do all your big ones on the bottom and all your small ones on the top. But here you can see, fits in, good. So this is gonna go in one of my cases when I want some more dense uh, spade bits. So now I gotta find a case to put it in. Oh shucks, I'll have to buy another one. Uh, other thing I've been working on, which it has been slowly getting organized. As you can see, the top is organized and the center is not. That's the Dremel holders. I've gotta really get on that. Uh, what else? I got me a set of these Milwaukee picks from Ohio Power Tool, for like 19 bucks, I like these. You saw this, I posted about this. I loved the idea of these. And Benjamin Johnson, Electron Smith, he has done it. I haven't got a chance because I'm printing orders before I'm trying new stuff. So that's the reason why they're not out yet, but I will be printing his socket holders. So, I got a question for you all, and I would like you all to comment and let me know if you want to. So every once in a while we get a bin that screws up, okay? You can look here, it looks generally good, generally good. You rotate around, it's warped, okay? So that is a problem, but it's still functional. So what I'm thinking about doing is having a page that's gonna be called scratch and dent or whatever. And you'll get these bins for like a fraction, like 50%, 75% off, something like that. It's we have Kaizen Foam. Kaizen Foam. So the idea would be is they would be available because they're already printed, they're work, they're solid, they're structurally sound. I'm not gonna send any of the ones that like you could crush in your hand because of under extrusion or something like that. But the idea would be is whatever's in that store would ship as it is. I would like to just ship them right away. So if you buy them, you could just get them. I, it wouldn't be a lead time because they're just in stock. I have boxes over there of ones that are just rejects for whatever reasons. We're gonna go through them and make sure they're structurally sound. So if you like that idea, comment below. Let me know if you want me to go ahead and make a page of just scratch and dent for discounted stuff. Shipping will be the same. It's nothing like that, but there's occasionally ones that are like this that are squishy and I wouldn't sell those. These I either use for myself or throw them out. So, Penny, the little pack out, the little pack out princess, <laughs> who's hiding over here. You'd have to be over here if you want to show up. She brought me out something. We'll get to that in a second. There's some pretty stuff in here. Uh, hi, Penny. Mommy's gonna be out soon. Mommy's gonna be out soon? Okay, cool. Should we throw that in the trash for me? Yes, yeah, indeed I will. 
All right, so let's put this out of the way. We're going to go fast here for a second. Let's go over a couple more things. We're going to save this for something. Not that, I swear, I promise it's not. All right, what else do we got going on? Hey, in the back box. Not the box closest to the front, but the cardboard box all, all the way to the back. Okay, so we've gone over this. Wood, uh, the local Rockler had a couple sales, uh, a bunch of just overstock stuff, so I got some of these crown staples for like 50% off. I finally, I finally, I have trashed the gasket on my festival. So I'm gonna get that put on. I need to clean up my bandsaw because I need to resaw uh, some of this black walnut because I want to make some smaller, thinner stuff and I really don't want to take it somewhere. So, we can put that in that same bin. Home Depot had these for like 73 cents or something stupid like that. You know where the chemical shelf is? All the way over there? Where is it? The shelf with all the little bottles and stuff. Um, you want to put those over there? It's nice when you got your kids back to help put stuff away. They're really good at that. I love these. These crates are great. I, you, I, you can't beat them. And if you haven't noticed, I keep a pack out there, and that's sort of my universal sign for take it into the house. So I won't actually take what's in there. I'll just put this stuff back into here, and then I'll know. I have that. I don't like this. It's so good. I don't know if you saw this, but I went ahead, was working on a project for the kids. So I went ahead and made an anchor bin and this is just whatever you can imagine actually penny that one over there she sorted all of these out by shop by size and by type and by color uh so ocd runs in the family i guess but this i love it see this is the exact example of the 3d printed stuff and milwaukee's you know great setup plus this thing's still over. so this needs to get a label so i'll probably have somebody make me a label. I, it's hard to do the stickers. In fact, I'll show you the stickers for stuff like anchors or screws. I printed out a picture of a screw. I don't mind that, but I almost think you would want to do the picture of the screw and then the word screw. So I just use one of these P-Touch label makers. So we'll get a label put on that thing. So yeah, so these are the printed vinyl packout labels that I've been selling and what I plan on doing, right? So I have my M18 drill set up over there. What I'm gonna try to do is, uh, well, what I first did, I guess you can't really tell, it's really far and really hard to see, is that I just took paper and I printed them out. Yeah, just use one. So I took paper, I just printed them out and I taped them on there and I love the idea, I posted about it on Instagram. A lot of people like it. So I've been selling them and they haven't been selling great, but that's okay because they are actually a pain in the butt to make. But I like them and I like the idea of visually seeing a picture of what's in the case as well. So stuff like the jigsaw, things like that, easy. Uh, things like screws, like I said, I don't know if it makes sense. This. Uh, I don't want to actually say I challenge Electron Smith, but I sort of do. I like these ones, right? I talked about these earlier. I'm going to use them for small screws. And I really like the way Electron Smith made the bit bins with these pegs. And I thought, man, I would like to be able to fit these into here. I wish Milwaukee would make something. And I'm walking by Home Depot, a shelf, and look at what I see, right? So, flathead screwdriver. This is always what I'm showing in my videos. This long flat head. Get that thing on those tabs. Pop them, bend them up. It's a bin, right? It's got a little latch. I'm not gonna put those in there, but I'm thinking 
and I can't, I'm hoping I'm not wrong. I don't know if it's gonna go all the way up or down. I always do this, right? I never actually put this stuff in the camera. So I just get the screwdriver to open the bin up a little bit and there it goes. So look at that, I love it. It's got a little latch, you open it up, you can put something small in here. So you could use this not just as uh, a bit bin, right? So it's socket holders, small stuff. So you could have this in there, you could have the pegs, you could have some jigsaw along in here. You could have maybe your uh, Dremel and then some of the Dremel items that don't fit. Like if you're doing some of the really fine drill bits for your Dremel, you could put the fine ones in there. So I just love this idea. So of course I bought a $19 kit to get like a $4 part. So if it was ever possible uh, to get that amazing guy that needs to not be named or comes with, to design something, I realize that that's a lot more work, but I am gonna spend $19 to get one. So either Milwaukee, sell these separately, or Ben, Electron Smith, let me know what we gotta do to design something like this to fit in here. Uh, I really wish I was better at CAD. I know that back in high school, I did like a proficiency thing and they were like, you should be a, an engineer because you like stuff like that, but yeah. So of course, I'll get around to ripping all these bits out and throwing them in something. So let's open something. And I said earlier that I'm going to go ahead and make it a separate video and I will, but I wanna at least open it here. Not this, I'm just gonna put a screw away. Okay. It's hot. It is extremely hot. Okay, 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 okay. What's in the box? Kaizen. Brian's the man. I have some of the Kaizen tools and I needed the rasp. So I put in an order for that, but I was also talking to him about something else. I wanted the little tool kit that they have, the Kaizen cut kit. In fact, I sent him this picture and I said, look, I threw this together. You care if I sell them, right? And he's like, no, I don't. And I, he said, what are you gonna do with it? But he says, and I was like, well, I wanna do a Kaizen cut kit in a pack out. And he already makes the foam for it. And you can guess, right? Foam, hard line. So this is the foam rasp, which is really nice. Hey, Penny, grab me that tall piece of black foam by the hammer. So this, is meant to level out your cutouts inside the Kaizen foam, right? You need foam, I got foam. You've got foam, right? So if you cut this out and you pull one of the layers out, but you want to flatten it, this thing is meant to rasp and make a nice flat spot. So I needed that. And he's got a kit, but it uses its own, uh, it uses its own case, and I, I wasn't, that's not what I wanted, right? Because I want the pack-out cases. Uh, so I bought this foam kit, and I said, hey, uh, I want something special done with it. And of course, Brian's the man. So this is different. This isn't meant for the slim pack-out. In fact, hold on. Every time, I don't know about you, I go to Home Depot I, or Ohio Power Tool or wherever, I buy a pack out and my wife says, don't you have enough that you haven't filled yet? And I'm like, well, those are for projects. And that's always what I say, those are for projects, those are for projects. I have plans for those. So, I always have enough extra so that I can do these because I'm finally getting around to doing some of these things. So I wanted this and here is a slim pack out. Okay, go like this, but it doesn't fit. Well, why doesn't this fit? Because I want to put more tools in with this, and there's not enough room unless you buy his case. So instead, we have a new idea, and here it is, right? 
Put this in the bottom. ABS glued to this. Do I have it in there? Do I have it in there? There we go. We have the first Kaizen foam standard thickness pack out cut kit. And what I'm going to do is make new stickers that fit on this. And we'll throw some on the side. And where we have a Kaizen foam cut kit. So I'm going to make a video where I'm doing a couple Kaizen cutouts. But this is sort of the first for this little setup. So now, right, you got a little finger hole here. I can go ahead and trace this guy out. And there you go. So, yeah, fun. So, I cleaned off my workbench. I actually have to get back to working on some stuff. Uh, the shop's pretty clean. But, I didn't say this at the beginning. Uh, let's do another giveaway. I talked about this in another video. So, this video is going to be local pickup because it's heavy. So, I'm gonna call over Pack Out Penny and we're gonna show you what we've got. Cracker? No, 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 not crackers, come on. Cracker? No crackers, get the rest. That's cracker. That's cracker. I don't want to give you what you want. All right, so, here we go. Our friends at Ohio Power Tool gave me this for you guys. So, this is the 18 inch steel pipe wrench. It's not aluminum, so it's heavy AF. So, I do not want to ship this. If you really want me to ship it, and you buy like a crap ton of bins, maybe, maybe we'll do that, but then it still has to be separate shipping because it'll break them. So, let's say we're not gonna do shipping. Pick up, we're in Columbus, Marysville, Ohio. We can arrange that with you. I know there's a lot of you who commented that said you're local, or you're in Cincinnati and you're willing to drive. That's fine. If you want to drive, it's yours is going on out there someone's blowing up stuff okay so what I want you to do is tell me what this is in the comments and you heard me ask before should I do a store section of like the scratch and dan or the the reject bins that I don't want to give to customers without their knowledge where they would ship immediately type thing so comment below let me know what this is called let me know if what you guys think on the whole store idea and uh, if you like crackers and you like pack outs. Johnny didn't put on the table. It's dirty. <laughs> this, this is what happens when you drink when you're pregnant. <laughs> so, everyone, thanks for watching. I'm uh, the Jacob All, and these are pack outs! I want